Hey everybody, we're back for part two of our uh, handwriting tips and tricks. Um, I have here with me my, my colleague Karen Harville and she's got a few more things to show you. So I'm going to turn it over to her now. Hi, I'm going to talk about um, handwriting tips and tricks from early writing up until uh, writing within lines, uh, improving legibility, those kind of things. So for early writing, you always want to start off with a uh, a large space and then progress to a smaller space. So you can start off with things like sidewalk chalk, painting on an easel, um, writing letters in sand or some kind of media. That works really well. So you want to start off large and then progress. And also some other things I do, I use a lot of verbal cues and demonstrations when learning letters. So for instance, if you want to start with um, say a vertical line, you always want to go down, show them the movement, down, and say down. So that way when they come to a letter, say B, you're going to tell them down and they will know which direction is down. Also the same way with the cross um, for horizontal line, just have them see you draw it, say a cross, and then that way they'll know, get the verbal cue along with the motion. And then say for letter E, you can say across, up, and around. And then that way you, you'll have a verbal cue. There are a lot of handwriting programs that have those kind of cues with them. Uh, for instance, Handwriting Without Tears, which is a very good program. It has the verbal directions with the program. Uh, you can use the, things like that, or you can just make up your own verbal cues. But I always find that the kids respond much better if they're given the demonstration rather than just looking at a copy of a letter. Okay. Another thing to use is the slant board. Um, it sort of just raises the writing up and helps kids with wrist position. So you want to have the proper wrist position this way instead of curled under. Um, it, just, it just raises that writing area up for you so you'll get it correct. Uh, other things to help with writing legibility and improve their control of their fingers. Um, this is a distal finger control worksheet. It's by Mary Bimbo. When you're writing with this, she has arrow directions. You start at the dot and go around. So it gets this motion in your hand and it helps the, the kids get greater control when they're writing. And you do just do circles all the way across and then it'll switch the direction of the arrow. So you're going this way. That just gets really good motion and gets the fingers here with better control. And there are also several varieties of this kind of sheet. Um, there's one that somebody has made like this. Or if you don't have access to sheets, you can make your own out of a highlighter. So it's just a homemade circles with the dots at the top made from a high right highlighter. I do that all the time. And then you can vary, just vary your shapes, make them some big, some small. But this really helps with, with pencil control. Another thing that works with pencil control is coloring small spaces. Um, this is a just color by number sheets, as you can see. So you're, you're having to work on coloring this direction, this direction, moving those fingers as they color in the smaller directions really helps with the pencil. And it ha you can have a variety of shapes, even smaller for older kids that kind of thing where they're really having to move these fingers as they color. If you don't have that kind of thing, they're all think kind of things online like color by number with the small uh, holes so you can really get that movement. And for older kids, they might like something like this that has a lot of the circles and numbers.
for some of the kids that are having a hard time keeping it within lines, this works very well for starting and stopping motion at the line. So I, for some kids, I even draw green and red arrows so they know where to start and where to stop. And then you go from there without the coloring. And it just works on practicing that motion of start, stop, start, stop. So when they're writing letters on lines, this will help. They also have a horizontal version to get that kind of movement. And I've made my own sheets like this, just uh, from lines and dots. Another thing that helps writing in lines, um, they have highlighted line paper. This works very well. There's all kind of... Um, sizes for this. This is for smaller size for a little bit older child. Um, so it really helps with writing within the lines. For some of the younger kids that are, are having a hard time uh, just even writing on paper itself, I will use things like this for their name. So I will write it here, say down, 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 hook or J across the top, and then have them do the J. So they're watching you do it, saying the motion, and then they will do it. Um, so say they, they write the J. Then you'll say A, around, down. Have them do the A, around, down, say it as they do it. So you're giving a lot of demonstration, verbal cues, and doing it right after the other. So they do the A. And that really helps them to see what you're doing and then so they can do it and it gives them a boundary to work in. So I do a lot of this when they're just starting to write their name. Here's the, the high highlighter paper, and I do the same thing for boundaries on this, for their name. If they're having a hard time just keeping on that blank, I will give a box boundary for their name so they can see where that goes. Um, sometimes even on the highlighter paper, if they're having a hard time seeing which one's the bottom line, I'll give them a, a red bottom line cue. Um, I can even do the name here um, in the paper. That helps also. Uh, just a lot of things to do. Really like this paper with the line. So, and if you give the example and then have them do it, they can see where it goes. And you can say like the lowercase letters, the ones that go, you can say that was in the yellow line. And they can really have a, a visual cue of where they go on the lines. This is just another example of paper. Um, Troop County uses this paper for their classrooms. So I have even just taken it and do the yellow line in here with a highlighter. So that helps some of our students who are using this paper in the classroom. But also we want to give that yellow highlight line and practice with that. This is handwriting without tears type paper. I've used this with older students, even if they haven't been through the handwriting without tears program. Um, sometimes it helps them when they're trying to transition onto notebook paper, but it's, it's a little bit different from notebook paper. But for those that are still having trouble, it gives you a little bit of more space between the lines. So even if they're handwriting is not as good, it will make it more legible for the teachers sometimes. Um, and the way you write on this paper, is it's above the line. So say to write hat, the H is above the line, the A is in the line, and the T is above. 
and then they have smaller versions of this paper. Okay, this is a very small. I've used some of these for middle schoolers sometimes that really have to write something and can't type it, but um, it gives you more space between the lines and the writing looks more legible so teachers can read it. But it, it and I'll make it like notebook paper, punch the hole so they can use it in their binder for notebook paper. For kids that are having trouble with margins, a lot of kids will, will start at the top at the beginning and write in toward the middle and forgetting the margin on the side. So I'll do a green line on the side to practice, always practice start at green. Green means go and if they're having trouble on this side you can always do a red line on this side to, so they don't go off the paper if they're having that kind of trouble. This is an also, also a different kind of paper. I'll take it out of this. It's called Ready Space. I've used it with some kids. It, I don't know if you can see it. It has little spaces in between. Um, so if the child is having trouble with impulsive writing or spacing, you can practice on this paper and it gives you the spaces that you write the letters in. And it, it also has the green and red line on the sides to practice the margins. For kids that have trouble with spacing, I will often give them a demonstration of highlights in between the letters, I mean between the words, so they will kind of see that space, and then I will have them practice and do, put the highlights in their sentence to see if they can recognize where the spaces are supposed to be or if they put too much space or not enough space. Um, you can also use a spacer, um, finger spacing, and sometimes even draw a line between words might work. Another thing I have used for spacing, if you have a lo very large uh, classroom whiteboard, you can write the, the letter or start the writing the words, excuse me, take a big space, have the child step an actual step between the words, write another word, do an actual step. That way they are feeling where that space is and maybe it will kind of click with them that I'm supposed to put a space here and give more of a, a, a boundary to that, that space. Um, I think that's about all that I have for today. Um, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Karen. Uh, great ideas. I'm definitely going to be stealing some of them. Um, put them in my repertoire of, uh, of activities and tools. Uh, but I want to also um, challenge parents and teachers. Uh, if your child is, is struggling with their, with their handwriting skills or if they are early and they're just beginning to do handwriting, uh, try some of these things that, that Karen has mentioned. Um, they will they will help your kids uh, in a lot of ways. Um, uh, maybe break some bad habits that are already starting. Uh, get them on the right path. So I would encourage you to uh, to not only look at this video, go back and look at this one again, but look at look at the first part uh, where Karen shows you some um, uh, some tools you can use uh, pencil grips in particular. Okay. All right. That's it for today. Take care.